this tutorial, we will learn how to effectively manage and organize your pieces in Mutic. To begin with, in order to easily find your way around, notice the different icons and their colors. Pieces in your library and in your set list has a blue 8th note icon. Set list has a green icon with an 8th note and horizontal lines. Projects has a yellow icon with three small people representing the fact that they are collaborative. And lastly, pieces in your project has a yellow 8th note icon. Yellow in order to know they are part of a project and therefore collaborative. After importing music into music, it will automatically be saved in your library. The top line indicates the piece's name. The sub line indicates the name of the composer and the part that is currently selected inside your piece. You might be wondering what parts are. In music, a piece can contain many parts which correspond to different files you have imported and that correspond to the same music, different instrumental parts or different editions, etc. For example, this is the Tchaikovsky Symphony, and inside the piece I have all the parts of the different instruments which I previously imported. Now I'm in the cello part. I can move to the bass part. Going back to the library by pressing the X on the top left side, here in the subline you can see that the base part is the last one that was activated and is the one that would be opened when choosing the piece. The pieces in your library can be sorted by piece name or composer. Very soon, we'll add more metadata fields to sort your library such as ear, tempo and more. You can choose to view just the favorite ones by pressing the star. To find a piece you are looking for, you can use a search bar. The piece that is shaded in gray and has an orange line on its left side is the last one you have opened. By sliding a piece to the left, you can edit it and view its metadata, add it to your favorites, share it, and delete it. One of the advantages of music is being able to gather several pieces into a custom set list. You can view all your set lists in alphabetical order or custom sort. In custom sort, you can change the order of your set lists by pressing edit and dragging the three lines on the right side of a set list up or down to the desired location. Then press done. To find a specific set list, you can use a search bar. When sliding a set list to the left, you have the options to delete a set list or share it. There are two ways to create a set list. First, inside setlist, press the plus button. Name the setlist and choose which pieces from your library to add. Then press done. Second way is from the import. After creating one or several pieces, you will be able to choose if you want to save them in an existing setlist or create a new one. If you choose to create a new one, name your new setlist and press done. By pressing a set list, you can see the pieces within it. One of the main benefits of having a set list is deciding its order. Also here you can press the edit button and drag and drop to change the order of pieces as you wish. To add more pieces from the library into an existing set list, press the plus button, select the desired pieces and press done. If you want to delete a piece from your set list, Swipe it to the left and press the trash icon. You will get the question Remove from setlist or delete permanently. Remove from setlist means it's just going to be removed from this setlist but still exists in your library. Delete permanently is going to be removed from the setlist and deleted from your library. To rename your setlist, inside the setlist, press the edit button and tap the setlist name. Write the new name of the setlist, then press done. You can go back to the setlist list by pressing the back button on the top left corner of the screen or by pressing the setlist on the main menu bar. Let's do a small sum up to the relationship between the setlist and the library. Library is where you have all your pieces which can be added to setlist. If you have a piece in the library and add it to one or many setlists, any changes made in that piece would be visible in all the library and all the setlists that piece is saved in. One of the benefits of this system is if for example you are playing the same piece in three different concerts, 
meaning a piece that is added to three different set lists, and you have drawn your annotations in that piece, you will see these annotations in all the three set lists, not needing to copy them over and over again. A project is a collaborative environment that can be shared by multiple music users simultaneously. Projects serve you if you collaborate with other musicians using music. For example, if you're playing in an orchestra, a band, working with a colleague on a score, etc. In a piece that is saved in a project, all edits that are made by one musician are replicated in real time for all musicians that share the same project, just like Google Docs. Here is an example. I'm entering a project, choosing a piece, and my colleague is opening it at the same time in another device. One is annotating in one device, and the other sees the changes made live. This is possible only inside a project. Project pieces are not present in your library or in your set list, but only in your project. There are two ways to create a new project. The first is inside projects. Press the plus button, choose a project name, and select the desired pieces from the library. The chosen pieces would be copied from the library into the new project. The second way is by going to set list. Choose a set list. In the upper right side, press the share icon and then convert into project. In music, it is possible to add, copy, and duplicate pieces from place to place. In the library, if we press the edit and choose a piece, we will see these options on the top left. Let's go over them. Add to set list means that this piece would be added to the set list or set list you select. As mentioned before, all changes made in that piece would be visible in all set lists that piece is added to. If we press copy to project, that piece would be copied into the project or project you select. The pieces copied into the project would be a brand new copy of that piece, which means it will be independent from the library and set list. Therefore, any changes made in the project piece wouldn't affect the piece in the library or set list. If we duplicate, we would create a new copy of that piece into the library. And if we delete a piece from the library, it would be deleted from all set lists it was added to. Once we go into projects and choose a project, press edit and select a piece, we would see the options are slightly different. Copy to a project allows you to copy this piece into another project or projects. Remember that copy means it would create a new independent version of the piece. Copy to library allows you to copy this piece into an existing or new set list. When pressing skip, the selected piece or pieces would be simply copied into your library. Copying a project into your library is a good way to back up your project pieces and make sure you have a personal copy that no one can edit anymore. I hope this was helpful and would allow you to easily organize your library. Thank you for watching.